So I'm in Paris with 200 euros and one day to find myself an outfit. I'm going to take you around to the boutiques, the high street stores, the vintage shops, and all the little areas in Paris that you might not know about, but we can go and try and find. So if you haven't been to Paris before and you're a lover of fashion, then follow me. My first destination is the Rue de Rennes. It's near the cafes where existentialists like Jean-Paul Sartre and Simone de Beauvoir used to hang out. And here you'll find all the high street shops, including all the chain stores you'll only find in France. Some other good places to go shopping in Paris are Les Halles and the commercial centre in La Défense. If you fancy going a bit more upmarket, head to Rue Saint-Honoré, home to all the luxurious designer and couture shops. This is also where you'll find the world-famous concept store, Colette. But now, I'm off somewhere a bit more down to earth. I'm in Le Sentier, second arrondissement in Paris. It's mad, it's crazy, you've got to follow your fashion instinct and get stuck right in. This is a great area of Paris for niche fashion, but I think some of it might be a little bit too niche for me. Le Sentier is the area in Paris where shop owners come to buy their collections every season. It's the true underbelly of Parisian fashion. Just the thing. Last season's masculine trend started with the tuxedo jacket, and this year it continues with the boyfriend jacket, which I think is going to go perfectly with my dress. Le Marais is the hub of Parisian café culture, with art previews and gallery openings, while Boulevard Saint-Germain in the 6th arrondissement has a lot of traditional brasseries, perfect for indulging in some French cuisine. There really are actually so many shops. Plenty of vintage, plenty of boutique, plenty of handbags. You could probably get lost in here for hours and hours and hours. Interesting fact about Le Marais, it's one of the first places that was protected um, by André Marvel, who is one of the famous writers from Paris, who has protected the shops in such a way that you can sometimes find bakeries, which when you walk in are actually hotels. So be careful if you think you're going in to get yourself a pan au chocolat and find yourself staying overnight. I'm in Place des Vosges, a beautiful historic part of Paris built under Louis XIV. And I've been hunting for accessories all afternoon. I think I found the perfect bracelet to complement my outfit. And I hope it's within budget. It's almost run out of my money. It's just in here. That's my last 20 euros and I've managed to stay within my budget. Well, that's me done. I've got my outfit and I'm all shopped out. So I'm going to drop the car off at the hotel and get ready for my big night out. I'm in the Bound Bar now, which is a great place that does some truly fantastic cocktails. The area around Champs-Élysées is scattered with lots of trendy bars and beautiful hotel lounges. This is where Parisian music types and fashionistas come out to play, so it's perfect for people watching. Other good places to go out are Rue de la Roquette in the Bastille area. The bars and restaurants there tend to be smaller and more intimate, and they attract young, trendy media types. The art crowds tend to head for the cafes in Le Marais, while the Latin Quarter around the Boulevard Saint-Germain is home to students and traditional brasseries. So there we go. Brilliant day in Paris. Got my outfit and on budget. All that's left to do is live it up Paris style. <laughs>